Netflix chose to not move forward with a second season of Seven Seconds. Now I haven't had time to really sit still and watch the full series, but a lot of people, including y'all, have said this is the highest rated Netflix series on Netflix. And you would think a show that has so much good feedback would get a second season. But Netflix released a statement today and they said, we love working with Venus Sud and Regina King and the cast and crew of Seven Seconds. Together they created a compelling, timely, relevant crime drama. The first season was a complete standalone story that we are proud to feature on Netflix for years to come. Now after this statement was released this morning, Monique wasted no time putting her two cents in. Now earlier this year she was offered a half a million dollars for a comedy special on Netflix. Now earlier this year she was offered a half a million dollars for a comedy special on Netflix while Amy Strumer and David Chappelle received millions. Here's what she had to say. The conversation is going around right now in reference to Netflix. And when I checked on the Twitter page, I just started seeing tweets like, maybe we should have listened to Mo Worldwide. Oh, maybe Mo Worldwide was right. And I had no idea what they were talking about until I actually clicked on one of it and it opened up. And it said Regina King's show on Netflix, Seven Seconds, has been canceled. And I understand, wasn't it a hit show? I, I'm, With incredible reviews? I'm going to say, not only was it a hit show, it was a mega hit show. Okay. Okay, this right here, you remember two snaps up and a thing? Oh. We got mega hit. Right. Okay, so it's not coming back for a second season. Was there any explanation given to why the show was canceled? I can't say it was or wasn't, but I hadn't heard about anything. But I think this goes to what we were trying to discuss with our people and you all are our people in reference to there's a level of regard that is not had for people of color. So it would appear at this organization, starting from the fact that when you only speak about one person, such as Tiffany Hatch, when you only have Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle, but you have a woman who says, I'm not a legend, and a Amy Schumer. But then you have a Robbie Prawl at Netflix refer to Monique as a legend, but not put her anywhere near what it was, uh, where she was supposed to be. After coming out to see her as if she was brand new and watching two standing ovations on two different nights. So when you see that, what we were essentially trying to say, which people were under the impression this was all about Monique, no. What we were saying essentially was they're regarding your community as of such where they have no value. Monique just happened to be the one that spoke up and then you heard our sister Wanda Sykes speak up. And where it gets even more ridiculous is you had a brother Gary Owens, who was on Tigger's show in Atlanta, who said, Netflix never even gave me an offer. I guess they just can't understand how a white boy could have a black following and they can't wrap their minds around it. And I'm paraphrasing. And he didn't even realize that he was saying something that was along the lines of, it's not that they don't realize it, it's that they don't value your audience. Mm -hmm. So it would appear. It's not that they can't wrap their, their minds around it, it's just you bought into an audience and you have a following which they seem not to have a regard for. Hence, taking off second seconds, that's seven seconds, which is a hit.